Greetings, everyone. Welcome to episode number two of Sam's Science Spotlight. I'm Miss Sam. I'm the children's librarian at the East Lake Public Library, and today we are going to try an experiment called Hover Balloon. Essentially, it's like making a hovercraft, and it's featured in this book. Try this. 50 Fun Experiments for the Mad Scientist in You, and it is by Karen Romano Young. So, what do you say we put on our thinking caps, gather the necessary materials, let's go do some science! Science! Now, I know some of you are probably wondering what on earth we're making. What do I mean by hovercraft? Well, let's see. Have you ever played air hockey before where there's a puck on a, on a table that you have to shoot to the other side and try to score more points than somebody else? Well, that little puck is floating on a cushion of air. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing with this experiment. So here are the things that we need for this experiment. The first thing we need is an old CD or DVD. So, you know, with the hole and everything, um, just anything. Sometimes at the library we have things that are scratched up and they're not good anymore. Why not save it for a craft, just like this? So we need a CD. We also need a nice flat surface. I should have said that first. You definitely need a flat surface, just like with air hockey. You also need a balloon. So I've got a handy orange balloon here. We seem to have quite a bit of orange balloons. And this next thing that you need is really, really important. You need a grown-up to help you with two things, possibly three if you have trouble blowing up balloons, um, for this experiment. Your grown-up is going to have to use a drill to drill a hole in the cap of a water bottle or a pop bottle. Actually, the best one to use is from a two liter bottle, a plastic cap. Um, you could use the cap from a water bottle, you know, those cheapy ones, but see the size difference? You're gonna have to be able to fit your balloon over top of that. And it just gives you a lot more to work with if you use the thicker one, okay? So off of a two liter bottle, this is really the size that you want. But again, it's a grown up that needs to drill a hole in the middle of, of your cap, okay? And also your grown up is going to be responsible for using the hot glue gun too. Now, grown-ups, I highly encourage you to show your kids how these things work, how the drill works, how the hot glue gun works, and share with them the dangers of them, um, as well as, hey, look at what you can do with this. And maybe even if they're old enough, let them try a little bit. But with the drill, you could, you could really hurt yourself with that if you don't know what you're doing. And with the hot glue gun, you can definitely burn yourself with that even if you do know what you're doing. So leave that part to grown-ups. So a grown-up is one of your ingredients, okay? So with that, I think that we have all of the things we need. And don't worry if you don't have all of the things you need. You can always pause this video or you can come back to it later. And if this goes too fast for you, you can come back to it later, okay? So we're gonna move on to the assembly. All right, are we ready to go? Do you have all the things you need? Your flat surface, CD, a balloon, a cap with a hole that your grown-up drilled into it, and I have a hot glue gun ready to go, okay? So here's what you're gonna need to do first. First, take your CD and your cap with a hole drilled in it, and you are going to use your hot glue gun, grown-ups, Grown-ups are using the hot glue gun um, to go all the way around the rim with this. Don't leave any gaps. We want to have a nice tight seal. Okay, so I'm going to put hot glue all around the rim of this cap. I'm going to try not to leave any gaps in it. 
is we want to make a nice tight seal here when we put it down on our CD. Okay. See, I did a messy job, but it covers. And you're going to put it over that hole in the CD, right in the middle. Just like that. And push it down just a little bit to make sure that you have a nice seal. It's stuck there. You can see through the hole. So yeah. And then you're going to wait a few minutes. Let the glue cool down. Okay. You do not want to touch that glue while it's still, while it's still wet and hot. Okay. Cause you can really burn yourself pretty badly if you do that. So in the meantime, take your balloon and what you can do with your balloon is stretch it out a little bit. It really helps to blow up a balloon if you stretch it out beforehand. And for this experiment, you're going to want to really stretch out the neck too. This is called the neck of the balloon because you're going to need to put this part of the balloon, once you blow it up, you're going to pinch it off and then you're going to put this part over that cap um, on your CD. So it takes some concentration and cooperation between your fingers and hands. So it may be beneficial to you to get something like a clothespin or something so that once you blow up your balloon, you can close it off like that and then place the, the thing, the uh, neck over that cap. It's up to you. I did it without, but it, it could be tricky for, for littler hands. So I'm stretching out my balloon. And once I think I have my balloon pretty well stretched out, and I'm going to check and see if my glue is cooler now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice and cool now. You can even do this if you wanted to cool it down quicker. I'm going to blow up my balloon. And this is where a grown-up might come in handy again because I know a lot of little ones have trouble blowing up balloons. Here we go. Now, when you blow up your balloon, you don't want to blow it up so big that you don't have room to have your neck look like this. Okay? So you need to have some real space in your neck. So don't blow it up so big it's going to pop. That just scares everybody and, and you know, just, just enough air to make this experiment go. Okay? So once you have blown up some of your balloon... And you can always blow it up again and do this thing over and over and over. You don't have to, it's not a one time and then it's done. You can play with this all afternoon. And I'm going to take the hole and I'm going to, I'm pinching the balloon close so I don't let the air out. And I'm going to stretch that latex balloon over top of that water bottle cap or pop bottle cap. Get it down nice and securely while still holding the air in the balloon. That's why maybe a clothespin might be a way to, to uh, handle that. And once you think you have it on there pretty well, now it's time for the exciting part. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to let go very gently. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that was kind of lackluster, wasn't it? Let's blow the balloon up again. I'm going to put a little more air in it so that it goes a little longer. But I could see that it started to move. Okay. I still have some air, some room in my neck here. Let's see. I'm going to place this over the cap. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think it was a little easier that time. Maybe because I had a little bit of practice with that last one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let it go very slowly. 
Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just let it go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, neat. Did you see that? How did yours work? Did you get yours to work? Oh my goodness. Now here's something that you could try at home if you have more caps, um, if you wanted to take this apart or if you have more CDs, you could try maybe changing the size of the hole in, in your cap. Um, I know I, I drilled um, an extra big hole. Um, I even tried drilling three little holes to see what would happen if, if you changed the size of the holes or the orientation of the holes. Who knows? So you could try something like that. You could try seeing what happens on a different surface. Um, there are so many things that you could try with this experiment. So I encourage you to go ahead and do that. So I hope it worked for you. So what's happening in this experiment? Well, the air coming out of the balloon is shooting out from under the CD and hitting the tabletop surface, creating a cushion of air for the CD to move around on. And the reason why the CD can move around on its own sometimes is because that cushion of air is just a little bit uneven sometimes. So it's really a neat experiment. It's just like uh, playing air hockey in the arcade. So where that puck is floating on a cushion of air, there are actually tiny holes in, in the surface of the air hockey machine that make the puck float. And then you can, you know, play air hockey with your friends and see who wins. I usually don't. Oh well, hand-eye coordination. So I encourage you guys to experiment with this. Try different size holes, try different surfaces, whatever you can think of. Different shapes of balloons, does that make a difference? I don't know. Something to try at home. Well, thank you so much everybody for joining me today. Um, again, this experiment was called Hover Balloon and it was featured in this book. Try this. 50 Fun Experiments for the Mad Scientist in You. And you can find this book and more just like it at your local library. Come in and browse. You can visit our website. You can contact us about curbside service. We're here for you. So until next time, everybody, remember, you don't have to be a scientist to do science. You just have to be curious. Take care.